what we have is the theme of horror as it's October, Halloween. I ain't got a mask on, I don't need one. Been told by my mum, I'm ugly. We've got four films. From those four films, we have two of the filmmakers here, the directors of those films. So hopefully they shall be answering your questions. waiting for the right time to step in and save her, to take her away from him. It wasn't easy to watch. But soon, it would be me with her. The cast were friends and did it for free. Um, oh, the main guy, um, uh, Max, who's, you know, the chap with beard and the glasses, he, um, actually had to go to Manchester to DJ that night. So half the shots, all the shots from the back were actually me. So we knew we were going to lose him halfway through the day. So we kind of shot all his, um, all his, you know, front on shots. And then I just doubled up as him. Wow. Also the voice isn't his voice either. That's the voice of the boyfriend who gets killed. <laughs> because Max wasn't there, we had to use, you know, find an, another option. Everyone with a, an iPhone can make a film. It's just kind of finding a platform to show your films. And, um, you know, as I said, we made this film two years ago and it was shown and nominated last year for the Limelight Awards. And just to be, to be able to sit in a room and have it shown to, to you know, a hundred people or something is, is fantastic. And just to make more and more people aware. Um, and it just shows, I think, that you can, you know, anyone can, can do it for, for no money. You don't have to rely on, on funding if, you know, if you can't get it. Just... satisfied customers. I was running back home when I heard it. That scream. The best thing about horror is that you can do it low budget, which is because A, because the gore is really nice and it's cheap and it's, it's fun to do, but also because you don't need a name cast. You don't need, it's all about the concept, it's all about the horror, it's all about the monster, it's all about the, or the, the suspense. And that's, what's, you know, that's why you see so many sort of low budget horrors. Feedback we've been getting is has been it's just blown us away, including Limelight, which is great because a lot of these festivals we can get to that we won awards, and so I took a lot of the, the the actors to the Limelight to do a red carpet. You know, it just it was an amazing night, and to then to actually win the award, it was it was great for them. It was great for me just to, you know to share that with them. And what you really want to do is be able to do it for, as your day job. You want to be able to get paid and, and survive, and not have to have a day job in order to pay. For your hobby because I mean for me I, I work in film production anyway uh, which is which is a great thing to be able to do but I, I want to be able to work on my own projects full-time and at the moment I'm having to use weekends nights whatever in order to do to make my own films which then obviously encroaches on your personal life as well so I think if, if for me what would be fantastic is just be able to wake up in the morning and just do my own thing um, but I think I would do it Anyway, even if I never get the chance to do that, I'd still be making films forever just because I love doing it. And I'm not sure if it's the same. It's no, no, it's exactly the same. I think, yeah, it's, it's, it's... And I think for shorts, and that's the question of why I do shorts, but I think the same as the horror community, the short film community, it's amazing, it's supportive, and it's not just about, oh, I made a film, it's about getting feedback. I realise it's too late to apologise. One Republic, can't discuss no it way. You both gave me a chance I fluffed it Now this is my guilty plea Take me down right now Put oh, my knees. hands up Will you shoot me dead?
Well, we've been working together for a long time. We've known each other for many years, and uh, we had our own thing as separate artists. And uh, we just, uh, I was producing a lot of music for Lyndon, and one day I just said, look, I'm doing so many tracks for you, and I'm featuring on so many tracks. Let's just make a band. To be honest, we're just self-producing everything we do, videos, yeah. with Good Boy over there, and the album, we're just finishing up. By the end of the year, we'll be done. So we just need to keep doing stuff like this, basically, and raise our profile a bit more.